Hello, my name is Paige Schrock. I'm a solutions consultant with Focus Software, and I'm going to be taking you through the product demonstration today. With Focus Financial Statements, we've enabled businesses to elevate their financial data out of the realm of complicated manual spreadsheets and into the world of data analytics. For those of you familiar with Focus, uh, this is a typical Focus general ledger database. The center section is the grid. It displays records and measures. These are dimensions on the left side used for displaying different records and filtering through your data. And across the top are options for changing my view. The data in this database comes from the individual transactions posting to each one of your general ledger accounts. And this data is automatically refreshed. When you start with Focus, we have integrations to your ERP, your accounting software, pretty much any data source you may have, and you can bring in multiple sources at once and roll them up together. What we've done with financial statements is to take the transactional general ledger data and place a financial reporting layer on top. The tool comes with the basic financial statement reports, the profit and loss, the balance sheet, cash flow, and the trial balance. And you can see I have some additional versions listed here. First, I'm gonna matrix my different, uh, my different divisions, in this case, the, in, in the form of countries. And I'm gonna add the plus the detail off to the right. To clean up the view, I'm gonna change my columns. And I'm gonna use the percentage of revenue because that's gonna give me the easiest way to compare across the different divisions how operating expenses uh, stack up. So I can see just looking at this screen that the operating expenses in Australia are less as a percentage of revenue than what I'm seeing in the other divisions. So I wanna drill into this and try to understand where that's coming from, but instead of looking directly at the accounts, I wanna add some analytical groups uh, that are gonna make that process easier. So I'm gonna add in the subgroup and the GL account. Now when I expand the operating expenses, I can see here under advertising, uh, that Australia seems to be a little bit less as a percentage of revenue. I can expand that group. Looks like search engine optimization is a little bit less. And I can expand that as well to get all the way down to the root sub accounts. If I want to, at this point, I can always go into the transaction mode to see the final detail that underlines the totals uh, sitting, uh, sitting in those cells. At any point, I can export this into Excel or other formats. You can see here, I've actually exported it or downloaded it into Excel, and I maintain the groupings and subtotals that I had already configured. I can also export this as a PDF with my own custom formatting, or I can subscribe users to receive an email copy of the financials on a regular schedule, maybe after the month end close. So how do you begin customizing your financial reporting, creating the groups and subcategories that you wanna analyze? Like the rest of Focus, we're, we've tried to keep things simple. We can import categories from your ERP or accounting software, or alternately, you can use our statement customization tool to quickly create and update your statements as you want. So it's searchable by text or by account range, and I can quickly update a selection of accounts. A user on the finance team could have fully customized statements within hours, not days or weeks. And I'm looking at the detailed GL accounts. I'll click on the chart icon. And now I have a selection of charts that I can use to create visualizations of the data. This is not something that IT needs to do or an external consultant. This is something that any user can do in focus. Adding financial data to dashboards can revolutionize the way your users consume and understand finance information, leading to better decision-making and an easier and more effective reporting process. So here's a dashboard that I built for a company shareholder. So this is a great example of how the customization enabled by Focus Financial Statements can really help you to tailor your reporting and analysis to the needs of different users. Obviously, what a shareholder wants to see is going to be different from what a staff accountant or even a branch manager is gonna to need to see. At the top, I have some great visualizations to show how the company is performing, both against the budget 
and historical trends. As with any focus dashboard, I can filter the data that's displayed. And in this case, I'll just select the US business to see how it's performed. I've got my consolidated PL with the different countries broken out separately. And then beneath that, I have a heavily customized balance sheet. What I've done is to create a version of the balance sheet that shows the key ratios at the top rather than just the standard layout. So these are the indicators that a shareholder might look at to analyze the health of the business. The great thing about these dashboards is that I can always click on the analyze button and drill into the underlying data. Here, you can see how I group the balance sheet accounts differently in order to create the ratios that I want my shareholder to see. If I go back to the standard balance sheet, I can change my view, and then I can drill into any areas of business biz, uh, of interest <laughs> the same way I did on my PL. Now let's take a look at how another user might interact with financial data. You can see that I have the same high-level KPIs to show how the business is doing. The next section is a great visual checklist of all the things that user might need to keep tabs on as part of the month-end close process. I've got my balances to reconcile, my fixed asset accounts. I have an alert to notify me if there are any journal entries in the sales or COGS accounts so that I can check to make sure that those are valid. And this is my favorite part right here. This is a graph of the trial balance, balance, which is thankfully is showing no data. If my trial balance is out of balance, I'd be able to see which period was off and drill directly into the data to run down that issue. Let's scroll down a little bit further, and this is the profit and loss statement that maybe I'm preparing. And just beneath that, I've got this great section where I can analyze and report on the variances. So I use the advanced search functionality within Focus to identify those items that are out of, out of line with what we budgeted. And then here next to it, I've got a section where I can enter my notes. As I identify the causes of my variance against budget, I can edit the notes and add more detail. I can share this with others, or I can just use it to keep my own records. Here I have what the PNL might look like for a branch manager. You can see that it's radically different from what the finance users have access to. All of the below the line accounts have been removed and the user is limited to only seeing their own division's data. In this case, it happens to be Australia. I also limited the operating expenses to just those accounts that the branch manager can control or influence. For example, I can drill into the operating expense and see that the bad debts expense has rose significantly. And then I can drill into the transactions as needed. Or with a couple of clicks, I can change my date range and see all of the periods for the year to date so I can track my bad debt expense so far this year. This is a huge improvement over what a lot of both branch managers, but also members of the finance team do currently. 